Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on this new device that's called an input trigger device. And it's hard to state just how big of an improvement this is and how much control this gives us over creating games now. It's absolutely a huge step forward. Before we were very limited in terms of what the player could do and in input because those functions were all built in. The old way was there were all these built-in functions, right? And they're still built-in, and they're by default. So when you press shift, that sprint and left control is crouch, left mouse button is fire, right mouse button is target. But what's different now with the input trigger device is that we can get rid of these built-in functions and assign them to whatever we want. So instead of shift, causing the player to print, we can cause whatever we want to happen. The same with up to 12 controls now. So if I go into Fortnite now, I just have this set up, like if I'm walking in my game. You can in a sense say there's no violence in this game because I've commandeered the fire button. And you can see that over on the left side where it says now it says fire, but then it says LMB for message. And if I hit my left mouse button, there's my message. And then I release it and the message goes away and then I'm on my way so it's really really something now to see these kind of control prompts on the side that's the setting in your settings here so if you come into settings and come up here to your display you can come down here and turn that on or off so if I turn this off I wouldn't see that so I would recommend that players be advised to turn their control prompts on especially if you're swapping out all these functions. Really all I have is I have a HUD device in the scene and then I have my verse device here and then I brought in the input trigger device. This input trigger device is in the devices folder with all the other devices. And so just in looking at its settings here you can see it has the first tab is creative input and this is where you decide what control you want to commandeer. So you have to know kind of what these map to. It doesn't really say on here, but fire is the left mouse button, target is the right mouse button, crouch is left control, jump is spacebar, sprint is shift, interact is E, and so on and so forth. Instead of these triggering these behaviors now, like target and crouch, can remap that to whatever function that we want. So it's pretty incredible. So in this case, I've remapped the left mouse button to trigger this HUD device. So if I click on the HUD device and come over here, what I've done is I've just created a message, hello world, and I've turned off the duration. So it'll stay on the screen for as long as the player is holding the left mouse button down. And then if you come down here, you'll see if I search for input device, here I've renamed it to input LMB just for clarity and if I come back to the HUD device here and I go down to input you can see I have the option of on input pressed and so I set it to that and then input LMB on input released there's a couple other settings on here that are real interesting and there's this one about registering players by default, I would just leave it to add register. Show on HUD means the player could see it as a control prompt. That's gonna say fire, so they know that fire is now left mouse button, but I could actually delete that, but it's not really going to change anything. We can change that and we'll see that in the game. But input is just gonna show fire. I already have the verse device created, and let's just take a look at the code in there. So if I come into my creative devices and click in here, here's the code. Anyway, here's an at editable for the trigger device. And here's an at editable for my message device. And then we just, if you want to know what this thing's capable of, you just press control and click into this and it tells you all the things that you can do with it. In this case, I called this my input and then it's my input pressed event which is a built-in method in the trigger device class. And then we bind to this function down here that requires an agent. And it's just to say, show my head device. Released event here, which is to hide it again. And that's it. And this also shows how long it's being held for. So that is that. And then here we go through all of our players 
and register them. Obviously, to be able to swap out functions like this, they need to create some kind of list behind the scenes and track the player's device to be able to make this swap. That's pretty much it. Let me just go ahead and build this first code and I'll push those changes. Okay, so it's updated and let's see what happened over here on my control prompt. Oh, okay. So now you can see it doesn't say fire over there anymore, which is probably better, but it does show a little icon for the mouse over there. And then if I'm walking and I hit left mouse button, there's my message and then I let go, it's it. So this opens up the possibility of all kinds of different games because no longer are you tied to actually weaponry anymore. And you could commandeer and start controlling anything else besides a weapon. It's really a huge step forward for opening up the kinds of games that can be created in here now. Anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.